In this problem, we have to solve this equation for w. We have w minus n being divided by wn, and it's equal to p. Let's go ahead and work through it. So we're looking for w, but the problem is that the w is on the bottom here. So we need to get rid of that. So a good first step maybe is to clear the fractions by multiplying both sides by wn. So let's go ahead and do that. So wn and then times we have w minus n over wn equals wn times p. Okay, now these go away. So we have w minus n is equal to wn p. And we're looking for w. So in order to find it, we need to get all of the terms that have w on one side uh, by themselves. So let's go ahead and subtract the w from both sides. So minus w minus w. That gives us negative n equals wnp minus w. And so now what we can do is we can factor out a w from the right hand side. So this is negative n equals Let's go ahead and pull out that W. So W parentheses NP looks like minus 1. And we can check this by multiplying. W times NP is WNP. And then W times negative 1 is negative W. We're almost there. W is being multiplied by this whole piece here, this NP minus 1. So to find W, we'll do the opposite of multiplication, which is um, division. So divide by NP minus 1, divide by NP minus 1. These go away. So you have negative N over and then NP minus 1, and that's equal to W. You could leave your answer like this, but most people write what they're solving for on the left-hand side. So we actually have W equals negative N over, and then we have NP minus 1. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.